Devils and Divas and welcome to Gustav Making Stuff where we are going into Hellraiser mode for this Halloween here. So there are gonna be a special episodes here where we're going to make the costumes here and uh, the faces and the makeups and stuff like that. So let's get going! <laughs> so what you need is a camping mattress foam thingy, uh, upholstery foam, latex, a belt, some sheeted plastic, uh, black brown leather, wires, uh, ballerina uh, costume fabric or a pantyhose or something, and other stuff I need. And an optional gateway to hell cube. So, starting here by my mannequin here, which is a very good thing to measure out. You can also use this on a real person. But basically, we're going to create a little bit of a pattern here. Due to, I'm going to draw where the arm is and where the shoulders are going to attach to the back. And also, I forgot to mention this black fake leather fabric here that I have on my disposal. So, I'm just trying to straighten out the lines a little bit more and cut them all thing out here. And if you're wondering why I'm not using this big table for all my builds, it's because of the fact that uh, big tables usually get clawed up with very big, uh, small things. So it's, not, so, it's not very easy to put big things on it. So, that's why. Anyway, so now we have to just cut out the, a short section of the same under thing we're going to do because it's just gonna hang over your shoulder uh, like an like an apron so it will be very easy to get in and out so now we are going to put these things together here and also make a little bit of adjustments uh, because foam is a little bit more stiffer than actual fabric so how are you so that's why I'm now gonna draw out the pattern for Butterbell's uh, chest piece here but they are going to be very similar these two costumes so you see this is just the basic chest thing here and we're going to attach them like that so you can actually have different sizes of these costumes and get in and out of them so now I'm going to tape here on the sides here and cut a, a little hole it's very good if you have black uh, duct tape here because this will prevent it from actually ripping apart accidentally when you are because I'm going to have them on a party so I'm going to possibly be quite drunk in this so they are kind of you know drunkness safe so anyway now uh, I'm just gonna show that the, the the belt is going to wrap around here to sit around and we're and also going to adjust it now we're gonna take this light bulb here in plastic and just make other round cups here for the female Cenobites uh, tits so uh, anyway uh, this is not an exact like replica of the costume because they were incredibly complicatedly leather work in the first uh, movie and then they started to sculpt them in uh, in the clay and actually do uh, latex foam latex uh, castings of the suits for the later parts of the movies so they would actually thrown away the old one because they start to rot in storage and stuff like that so now we're just gonna keep the thing up there and also we are going to do a little bit of a uh, whatever that part around the neck there whatever it's called uh, a collar yeah the collar we're gonna make the collar here and glue that to its place there and also gonna make a little bit of a pattern here to make the shoulder thing this because it was not really uh, easy so anyway this is an interpretation of the female Cenobite but uh, you get the idea here anyway so now I'm just gonna stretch this over here and glue it on the side like that to get all the other stretchy parts thingy uh, so just gonna take the rounded part there and just basically cut them uh, slice them apart and glue them back so that we can have some extra thinner foam parts of it and now I'm just drawing out the holes that it has on its chest here but I had to do a little bit of compensation here due to uh, it will gonna be very difficult to sit in this thing if it is too uh, far down all these parts with exposed stomach skin thingy so anyway you know we see it there I forgot to film some parts of it anyway but so now we're gonna uh, mix some black latex here and to take this cooking uh, silicone uh, baking silicone pencil here and paint it because you then you don't have to ruin a pencil for this sorry brush 
the the word for brush in Swedish is pencil. So it's very confusing for me. Anyway, so now I'm just putting in this shoelace here to make the uh, what do you call uh, the, the putting togethering of the chest. Uh, well, whatever. Uh, I don't remember the word for it. Anyway, so now you see, I'm just gonna put these little hooks here to uh, um, attach them, so you can ha hang the knives there. Uh, corset was the word I was looking for. Anyway, so now I'm uh, going to brush here, so a little bit of a grey, so you will have a little bit of definition to the little bit of a detail here. They actually are much more detailed with some inscriptions and stuff like that, which I couldn't find pictures of and whatever. If you want to do them, do them. I'm just having there. So now we have the first one here, kind of finished, you see, like that. And it looks gorgeous. So now let's go over to Butterbell, or Butterball, or whatever his name is. And now we're just gonna slice the little bit of a part in the middle there, and also attaching the shoulders. We're just gonna use hot glue on them here. And now cut out the stomach part here. And we're actually gonna keep that to make the inside of the stomach here, or this upholstery foam here. So you see I'm drawing a line, and I'm drawing a little bit other line there, so I know where to not put latex on this, so it actually can be glued back on better. So now we're gonna stretch the ballerina uh, fabrics on here, and actually going to put it like that when I glue it, so it doesn't uh, concave itself uh, when the latex is drying because it has a tendency to stretch. So that happened. Anyway, so now uh, I'm going to actually put some little shoelace here also and uh, do the thing. I actually did this a little bit wrong, but whatever. And now I'm taking this uh, this former uh, couch, leather couch, and make some strips on it to make the uh, apron that is having all the tools in it, which I have sewn together like that a little strip. So now we're making holes here to put in this uh, things that is called Öljet in Swedish, which I don't remember the name for in English at the moment, but you see. So they will be nice. And I also put them there, and I am also going to put them onto the costume and attach them like that. I'm just using old shoelaces for this, because I had a some extra shoelaces which I don't are using. So now you see we're gluing back the stomach there and now we're going to make a little bit of hooks of this uh, hanger which I made out of steel wiring. You can also buy real big hooks but I didn't have any one so anyway so now we're taking uh, bolts here and uh, putting them through the whole thing and attaching them so they will actually hold the stomach part in place better like that. And you see I haven't attached the hooks yet because I'm going to make the stomach wound here and then attach the hook so it actually holds it open a bit. Like that. And now I have uh, uh, put some hot glue here in to make it look a little bit more fleshy. So we just basically paint with a glue gun here glue. And if you're using the g uh, yellow glue I do, it actually looks more a bit like fat. So now we are going to paint here with some fake blood in some different layers here. Like first I'm doing the light and then I'm going to make it more dark and I'm actually going to take the uh, the brush here and make a little spatter around it so it will have a little bit more interesting edge going on. And also now we are going to do that with a bigger brush here with some little bit of a darker blood color because the bigger brush was easier to do the little spattering with this. And now you see I'm painting in the blacker, darker blood inside it there, because blood seems to have, you know, have different colors due to its drying like that. So that's why I'm also filling in here from the, uh, around the hooks and also on the bolts here with a little bit of a darker blood so they will actually don't pop out so much from the rest of the costume there. Now we're actually gonna spatter the apron here a uh, little bit or tool thingy with also different colors of dirt and blood and stuff like that. So now we're actually going to make a little bit of a definition here but also the same white gray color issue to make the edge a little bit pop out a little bit more in the darkness. And now I'm going to make a little bit of a paper 
pattern here to draw out the knives and also cut them out in plastic. And now we're going to make all the little tools. I had an action figure for Battle Ball and I tried to figure out what the tool was. So it was very difficult. So I just interpret what they were going to look like and see what I can use for my box of stuff. So there are different lids from uh, and pipes and stuff like that that I have lying around. It's just going to glue together so they look almost like the things on the action figure. They are basically old carpenting tools. Uh, I do have some old carpenting tools but they were going to be very heavy and I also don't want to lose them on a party. So now we are going to actually assemble all these things that we need. I think there are eight tools he has but I'm going to do use one uh, extra pocket there for my friend who's going to wear this because he's a magician so he will have some um, cards with him. So now I'm actually attaching a tree wood, sorry, to um, the handles of the knife here for the female Cenobite. And now we're just going to see that everything fits properly into this thing here like that. And you see they don't look very, you look too clean. So now we have to take a little bit of painting with first brown paint. And then after that we are going to use the different uh, fake bloods also with a little bit of a sponge there so they will have a little bit more interesting splattered look to them like that nice isn't it but if you use different uh, colors of blood it actually you see immediately look more interesting so now we are kind of finished with that and i hope you find this tutorials interesting here to make the costume here and here is how to put this thing on just load over there and also the mask gonna gonna have a separate video so thank you for watching and i hope you appreciate this video of cenobite costumes thank you bye thank you bye